probably the most likely answer. There's two two forms of it uh, float uh, from deferred taxes. One is the unrealized appreciation on securities, and and there, who knows what happens? I I, I don't think the appreciation is going to disappear, but we may decide to realize some of it from time to time. In fact, we could realize a lot of it. Um, if you move over to the depreciation, which you're talking about on the 37 billion, uh, because the total deferred taxes, as I remember, up maybe 60 billion or something like that, uh, that is a factor of accelerated depreciation. And one form or another of accelerated depreciation has been around a long time. Occasionally, the bo I think the bonus depreciation one year went to 100 percent. I could be wrong on that. Uh, the uh, certainly in our utility business. Uh, that, that helps our customer and it doesn't help us, basically. I mean, we, get a, we will get a return on equity and that is not, that's not free equity to us or anything of the sort. The, the regulatory commissions take that into account. Uh, return on invested capital in terms of how the Surface Transportation Board would look at it, again, I don't think we benefit enormously by that. We, it does mean there's less cash going out the door and we have to, and we therefore don't need to borrow as much money for, for capital investment as otherwise. But I don't think I would look at that as a, uh, as a hidden form of equity. Uh, I'd rather have the deferred taxes than not have them, but it's, 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 not, it's not meaningful there. Now, what could happen is that overwhelmingly those deferred taxes were probably entirely even extent there in the United States, were accrued at a 35 percent rate. So if the corporate rate changed, then you would have a major change in the deferred tax item. And, and there's always a possi possibility of that. It would be a book entry. It wouldn't mean much. It wouldn't mean much. Yeah, yeah. We, we do the float from the insurance business we regard as a terrific asset. The deferred tax liability is a plus, but it's not it's not a big asset. And I was wondering if you could